I'm Dr. Jeremy Gephardt. I'm an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in hip and knee replacements at Meadville Medical Center and Orthopedic Associates of Meadville. Today I'll be talking about the Velis Robotic Assisted Solution for total knee replacements. So we've been doing Velis uh, Robotic Assisted Surgery at Meadville Medical Center for close to a year now, and we've been extremely happy with the results and the outcomes of our, with our patients. Things that we're noticing are that people are having less pain after surgery, uh, faster recovery, uh, they're regaining their motion uh, quicker, and they also say that the knee feels more stable. And with less pain, regaining the motion quicker, happier patients, they're also requiring uh, less therapy afterwards, uh, so they're getting back to normal life more quickly. How the surgery works is there's a uh, robotic arm that assists with the surgery. Uh, we start the procedure off by making a digital map of the knee. Uh, there's a special camera system in the Velis system that allows us to take over 300 pictures of the knee per second. And the uh, maps and the cameras on the system then uh, map the knee throughout space, throughout the entire surgery. We're able to make minute adjustments to the placement of the implants and the balance of the knee down to half a millimeter and half a degree uh, so that the knee is perfectly balanced before we leave the operating room. So with this, uh, we're still doing the surgery. Uh, the robot just allows us to pinpoint the exact placement of the implants that is best for the patient. So here we have a model of a left knee that we're, we'll be performing a knee replacement on. Uh, we started things off by placing a tracer in the femur bone and the tibia bone. This tracks the knee in space throughout the procedure. So any minute movement of the knee will be tracked by these two uh, data points. We have our home base uh, to our left over here and that tracks uh, the movements of the knee throughout the procedure as well. So here we're mapping uh, different points throughout the knee on the tibia and femur bone. Uh, this allows us to create a three-dimensional picture of the knee, and this is how we will plan the surgery based off of that 3D picture. So in the previous step, we've collected thousands of data points, and here we are just confirming that those uh, are correct. So green means good to go, and we're happy with those points. So now that we have our data points and our digital map of the knee, we now want to assess the preoperative alignment of the extremity, as well as the motion and the laxity of the ligaments in the knee. So here we run the knee through a range of motion to assess that. So here we've made all of the appropriate adjustments to the position of the implants, the alignment of the implants, um, the overall alignment of the extremity. Uh, so we dialed in everything exactly where we want it to fit this patient specifically. Uh, we can see what our balance of the knee will be at, like after we position our implants here. So now we're ready for the part of the surgery where we make the actual cuts to the bone. So we'll bring the arm of the robot in for our first cut. So we've made our first cut based off of our plan. We can confirm that this is exactly where we want it to be down to the half of a millimeter. And we're happy with that. So we'll bring the arm in and we'll make our second cut. All right, and we'll finish things off with our final cut here. So we're done with the femur bone side uh, of things. We've made our five cuts. These are the same five cuts we make with a traditional knee replacement. Uh, again, it's just a different way of aligning the knee to more specifically match uh, this patient's anatomy and each individual's patient's anatomy. Uh, so uh, same implants, same cuts, same five cuts, and we're just shaving away the surface of the end of the bone. Uh, we're not actually cutting through the entire femur bone. It's just shaving away that worn out surface. So now we'll move on to the tibia bone or shin bone side of the thing, uh, side of things, and we'll we'll just remove the top surface of the tibia bone. Again, removing that worn-out surface. So we'll bring our robotic arm in. Uh, it brings us into alignment based off of our plan that we've made, and we'll go ahead and make that cut. So we finished with our bone cuts. We now do trial implants before we put our final implants in just to make sure we are happy with the alignment 
and the positioning. Uh, so we have a cap on the end of the femur bone, we have a cap on the shin bone, and then there's a plastic insert that goes between the two pieces of metal. Uh, and this system here allows us to assess our alignment of the extremity as well as the balance of the extremity uh, throughout the range of motion. So that before we leave the operating room, we know we are very happy with the balance and position uh, of the knee. So we've been using the Velis Robotic Assisted Solution here at Meadville Medical Center for total knee replacements for the past year. Uh, things we've seen in our patients is that they have less pain, the knee feels more natural, they're regaining their motion more quickly post-operatively, and in general, the patients are just much more happy with their knee, they require less therapy post-operatively, and they're getting back to their normal life more quickly, and they're overall happier with the outcome of surgery.